Will the U.S. suffer? Suffer? That's a bias. Will the U.S. succumb? Succumb? That's a bias, too. Will the U.S. just go right instead of left on this election? This is the day. This is the day. It is election day in the U.S. This is the Jim and Terry Show coming to you from the Hobbit Hole Studio in Bob Cajun. Bill Maher, you sent me his rant. Yes. He's tend, very fearful. I tend to agree with him. You and have. Since the it, beginning yeah, of this yeah, stuff, yeah. since the days of Donald Trump, you yeah. have said with just a modicum of fear and trepidation that this is not going to go well. Yeah, yeah. You still well, there? Yeah, I yeah, still okay. feel that way. Okay. Yeah, I, I do. As severely as Bill Maher? Uh, pretty close, yeah. I, I've been saying ever since <laughs> we've been doing this, uh, how it's, eventually this is going to fall because of the way in it which everything is split. Every, everything is split, even the election. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm taking any sides because, quite frankly, I'm not. Uh, it, it's so confusing to me now. But you got the right who are going to say if they don't win, it's just because they really won. It was stolen. And it was stolen. And then you got the left saying if, 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 if the right win, it's because they didn't play fair. And both are probably right. Well, no, I don't, I don't like the both sidesism that you tend to find yourself in. To oh, me, there is a right is and there is a wrong. The other. Are the GOP right in any of their claims about election fraud? No, they're no, not. No, no. Are they right in any of their claims about dead people voting? Well, yeah, I think I read one, and I think it was Arizona, maybe Texas, where one dead person did vote and the ballot was cast for a Republican. So you've got to get to the truth of this. There is no both sides, and that's where I think Bill Maher's rant yeah, well, what I is didn't, right. Yeah, well, I didn't mean it that way as much as I wanted to emphasize the divide in the country. There was a time when we hoped anyways there was cooperation, there was negotiation, like we talked on our last show. Yes. Now it seems to be you're in your corner, that's it. Yeah. And whatever the narrative is, you're going to go with that. And uh, I, I, that's why I like Cheney and the other fella who yeah, Adam Kinzinger. Uh, stepped up and, yep. and said, no, we're not going down that road. Uh, I, I like what they did. I'm very concerned. I'm not losing sleep over it, but mm. I am very concerned after what happens after today, I'm very concerned about it. I'm concerned that over, well, around 300, give or take, congressmen, senators, attorney general, governors, blah, 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 on the Republican side, do not acknowledge Biden as president and have not accepted 2020 results. Yeah. That bothers me. Yeah. So if you want to take a step forward, just step up and say, Well, what enough. bothers me even more than that, If I mean, then they're going to start impeaching uh, 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 Jimmy Jordan's going to lead it all. Lead yeah. the impeachment of... Da, 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 da. Why am I saying Aaron Impeach. Ford? <laughs> they call it an impeachapalooza. Uh, what is the president's name, Terry, please? Biden. Biden. Let's start a number of... Uh, one of a number of impeachments against just tit for tat. How childish is that? It's it, unbelievably it childish. It is very childish, and you got to look at who's leading the charge, and that's Marjorie Taylor Greene, so please oh, take no. it all with a grain of salt. I'm going to impeach Trump, and she's put two or three motions forward already during the first two years of Biden's presidency. And now, you got to think what's going on here when the crazies, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, uh, Jimmy Jordan, Chuck Grasley, you name them all, it's a rogues gallery of people who seem detached completely from what I would call well, they reality. Have, but they have their club. They seem to be having a lot of fun. The detached their, from in, reality club? Yes, yes. In their <laughs> club, right. they right. seem to be having a lot of fun. And be damned the country. It, it just doesn't yeah. seem to matter anymore to them. So where is the days of Senator McCain and the famous thumbs down as he approached the dais to vote? To overturn health care, and he put his thumbs down. He wasn't going to take down health care because mm. he knew the value of it for Americans. But the Republican Party was hell-bent, and especially under Trump. He, I mean, that's what he campaigned for. I'm going to repeal Obamacare. Get rid of it. And, well, and, he's going to get rid of anything that doesn't have his name attached to it. Yeah, well, that's true. It's got to have his name attached to it. That's another story, and we'll go to the Trump and dis, sanctimonious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm, I, I am concerned to tell I am you concerned, truth. too. Are you going to get popcorn out and, as a Canadian, no, dutifully uh, watch any of this? No, tonight um, I'm, I'm going over to a friend's house. 
Uh, I'm, I'll be back early enough if I get back and if I can stay awake, which I did last night, by yeah, the way. I stayed good. awake. Um, I'll, I'll watch it because I, mm. I am very, very interested. Um, I think I'm more interested in what tomorrow will bring yes. than what today brings. Yes. The, today is just going to be the last chance of people to cast ballots. Yeah, yeah. The last chance. Yeah. But there will still be mail-in yeah. to be counted. Uh, who knows about the overseas ballots, the military well, it, ballots? It will be interesting to see what happens if someone is definitely know they're on their way out, if they're going to start, well, I'm not going to acknowledge this. I'm not going to acknowledge this because that's this is just, quite frankly, so un-American. Yes. It's it's American I, now, I, I think but it you're, was so un-American. you're wise to point that out. So to our American cousins, this is the Jim and Terry Show coming to you safely from the Hobbit Hole studio in Don't tell Ontario. Them Don't tell them where but we are. We are looking with concern. Yeah. Um, I have a little glimmer of hope for no red wave and maybe a sliver of gain for a blue because I do believe it is about democracy. I do believe it about it is about women's uh, reproductive rights. That should be on the ballot, too. I believe it is about truth, justice, in the American way. And I don't see any election denier or January 6th picnickers. That's a, I guess that's what I'll call all those people who say, oh, they were just there with their umbrellas and out for a good time. And it was a nice family picnic day. January 6th. Come on. Republicans. What's in your pipe? Yeah, I, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not so on the same side as you when it comes to women's rights and everything else. Women's rights, reproduction rights. All of, I am in somewhat, uh, but I'm not going to bother with going through all the nitty gritty with this. So I just want our audience to know I'm not the same as you when it no, comes to your No, you're coming from concerns. a conservative evangelical religious yeah, perspective yeah. on reproductive rights. And I got to say that's one of the problems. I, like right now, if I was American, I'd have a rough time, Terry. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't even think I could vote because, on the other hand, I think they're forgetting the rule of law of God, uh, you know. Be, and Your they, view of the rule my, of law my, of God. My view, but the Christian world that yep. I live in, yes, I admit that. Yep. Okay. But I do believe in, in God, and I believe that that's that. I'm not saying everybody else has yep. to, so please no, understand that. No, that's okay. That. I just want to point me. out that we usually go to extremes of views to find out if there's any wonkiness. So the extreme of the conservative religious view of Roe versus Wade is the case in point of the 10-year-old Ohio who was raped. And that they, in their wisdom, Republicans slash evangelicals, want that girl to take that rape to full term and deliver a child. A child delivering a child. I'm sorry, that has nothing to do with uh, pro-life. Yeah, I know, and that's an extreme that... Uh, and that's where we go to, to find the arguments, weaknesses. We well, have yeah, to go to the I, extremes. I know, and, and the other is, okay, you take uh, my viewpoint, and not in that particular case, but it is a life, as far as I'm concerned. So you're killing a life. You gotta, And you have to make that decision because of some evil man decided to impregnate a 10-year-old. Yes, and evil men should not be making decisions on Roe versus Wade. Yes, there we go. Okay, well, there you go. What have we? Yeah, but I mean, so, there, there but we're is, worried about. It. You're I saying think, it's not as clear. I think there is some compromises. My point was hmm. only this: I couldn't vote Republican because number one, their main guy, there's not a truth in his mouth. No, I can't vote. Uh, left is because I think they go too far in 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 the ways of man. I would be in a rough place. I okay. wouldn't mind a middle party. I, I agree with the middle. I object to your phrase, the ways of man, as opposed to the ways of God. And when you set that up, there is no middle ground. You're either, one of, you're either for us or against us. And uh, that's not a Guinness. Well, no, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that. I don't believe everybody has to believe the way I believe. And that's good, because there yeah. needs to be a middle yeah. ground will I don't be believe, occupied. I definitely don't believe in forcing a religion on anybody. Or forcing a birth upon a kid. So well, we, you do have to you pick... You keep saying that, and I agree with you. Yes. So I'm saying if you had to pick a side in this election, if we were voting in America, to me, it's, it's clear. The Republicans have not got a leg to stand on on anything, whether it's finances, and we talked about inflation, and how they're fear-mongering with inflation that has nothing to do with biden i like what trudeau said terry the the, the Pierre elephant? elliot trudeau the government has no right in the bedrooms of the people i tend to agree with that I, christianity is one thing i'm a christian so yeah, I, yeah. i'm ruled by the ways of god i try to and, and everything i don't believe the government should be imposing uh, a basic morality on 
various people. I don't know how far I'd go there. When it comes out of my mouth, I say, I can't believe I said that, but I did say it. And some <laughs> things, we, we want the government to do everything for us, and sometimes we got to think for ourselves what is best here and what is best yeah. there. I don't think we want the government to do all the thinking for us. We do want them to level the playing field, and that is a liberal government. Whoa. I'll let you have the last word. Okay, you'll let me have that one. But you can have the next one. The Jim and Terry Shield. What's, what's the next subject? As always, we'll Sis. find out. We're Sis. improvising. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye for now.